over to the beach right now actually because I really want to go watch sunrise. The sun doesn't rise on this side of Florida. We get the sunsets over here, but I wanted to get up early this morning and just have like a very slow, relaxing morning and start my morning off by the beach because I absolutely love the beach and I really don't get over here quite often because it's about like a 28 minute drive, which is not bad at all, but it's just like a little out of the way. The sun doesn't rise until 7.30 this morning, which is perfect. It's starting to rise like later and later and later. So that's why I'm taking advantage of it right now before daylight savings hits. But it's gonna be so beautiful and I just wanna have like a very relaxing and cozy morning. like I say this every single time but I want to make a point to intentionally come to the beach at least like one or two times a month and I know you're probably thinking oh my god if I lived in Florida I would be at the beach all the time but it's one of those things where you always want what you can't have like I always wanted to live by the beach and I was always like I'd be at the beach 24 7 but when you know how accessible it is to you you just say like oh I'll go another day or I'll just wait until I have like nothing to do so that I don't feel rushed and stressed or like traffic is really bad. I'll just go next week and you just continually say that and then before you know it like weeks have gone by and I'm like oh my god I haven't even been to the beach and I just want to start going more often because I absolutely love it especially starting the morning off like that. It was so nice. I was gonna go for a swim but the waves were super super intense and no one was in the water. I'm like I'm not gonna be the one brave soul that does it because then everybody would be looking at me but now on my way back home, I'm gonna stop over at Starbucks and make a little pit stop on my way back home because there's like one super, super close. So let's do it. Hi there, what can we get served for you? Hi, could I just get a grande cold brew, please? Anything in it? Nope, that should be it. Okay, what else for you? That's all. 476, we'll see you up here. Thank you. Thank you. He's probably like, wow, this girl sounds like a psycho having just straight up cold brew. <laughs> but I have creamer at home that I love. The cookie butter creamer, so good. Cold brew, secured baby. First sip is always the best. Oh my gosh, look at how dark this is. <laughs> this is true bean water right here, baby. Woo! Oh my gosh, that tastes really good. Now that I'm back home, I'm gonna add a little bit of creamer to my coffee because this is my all-time favorite. It's the almond milk creamer in the cookie butter flavor. So good. That's like the perfect light bit of sweetness. In the morning, before I get my day started, I always like to plan. I'm a big planner. So in my planner, I'll just write everything out that I have for the day ahead and kind of make a rough to-do list. And then also, because today is Sunday, I'm gonna look ahead for next week and roughly plan out the week as well in terms of different things that need to be posted, different things that I have to do for work, that sort of thing, just so that I feel really like organized and not overwhelmed or stressed going into the week ahead. because it's Sunday, I thought it'd be fitting to make some pancakes this morning. Definitely more of a waffle gal, but to turn these into waffles takes a lot longer and I just wanna get breakfast on the table. Super simple and easy to make these gluten-free pumpkin pancakes from Trader Joe's, so good. I'm very picky when it comes to gluten-free substitutes. I usually prefer to not have things gluten-free substituted because I never usually like them. Like bread, for example, it just tastes very bland and like cardboard or things tend to be very grainy. But this pumpkin mix in specific, so good. Every time the fall rolls around, I always pick this up immediately from Trader Joe's because it's the bomb. And people who aren't gluten-free always say that they prefer this one over like the regular pumpkin pancake mix that they have because it is that good and it's like a very light taste of pumpkin. I love it. And it's very simple and easy to make. All you need is an egg, butter, or oil, and then water and the mix. So we love that. And I have some butter and eggs out right now. So we'll get to cooking up a little breakfast.
I wish you guys could smell my apartment right now. It smells so good. And I already tried a bite of the pancakes. They're definitely a 10 out of 10. So I added some agave and then frozen berries on top and it looks so good. Typically in the mornings, I'll save my workout for before having breakfast, but today I just decided to wait until after. It's been about 30 minutes since I finished breakfast, so I'm gonna head down, get some movement in this morning, just like 30 minutes, nothing strenuous. On Sundays, I love to do either a walk in the morning, Pilates, yoga, stretch, just something that still feels really good on my body, but it's definitely like very low impact. Picked out this workout set. This bra is from Aloe, and then these are my favorite leggings. They're from Nike. The Zenby leggings are literally the best. They're so soft, so comfy they feel like butter and they stay up while you're working out which we love i'm gonna head down and just do 30 minutes of movement this morning Typically, I wouldn't sit down and like do my makeup or anything because it's Sunday, but I'm heading out to the farmer's market. So I'm going to go meet up with some friends and then I'm shooting a campaign later this afternoon. So we're going to get some work done later and I want to have my makeup and everything all done for that. So I'm just putting on some skincare right now. I'm using this True Botanicals Chibula Active Serum. I recently just started using this and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna put that on and then some moisturizer. My skin has been doing better. I think the main problem is just like right here. And while I was talking to my esthetician, she was telling me that a lot of that has to do with gut. And when you have breakups on your cheeks, it is all stemming from the gut. So really prioritizing my gut health recently and just focusing on like ingredients that I'm putting into my body while also living balance and just like living a life of moderation and like still enjoying things you know because that's still very very important but I'm gonna finish up getting my makeup done and everything and then we will head out to the farmer's market I just got back from the farmer's market a bit ago and I'm sitting down at my desk going to knock out some work on my laptop for a bit, some editing and then admin type of stuff. And then later today we'll film my campaign, which I'm gonna end off the vlog here because we're just spending the morning with me. I wanted to switch up the content instead of regularly doing my weekly vlogs or the day in the life vlogs. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video and kind of the style of it. I know it was definitely a more extravagant morning in my life. Like it was more fun than my typical mornings, to be honest. Also, I did find some cute things at the farmer's market this morning. So I wanted to show you guys there's this jewelry shop that I always go to when I'm at that farmer's market and they have such good jewelry and it doesn't tarnish which I love so I picked out this necklace so stinging cute it's just like a heart and I wanted to find a necklace that is more of a statement for these two necklaces that I wear literally every day and this really helps like pull together full look and I think it's so stinging pretty and then I just got this very simple ring it's like a wraparound ring and I thought it was stunning and typically I have like a stack of rings on you guys know I love my gold jewelry but I forgot to put them on this morning morning but with this it'll look so good together so yeah that's everything that I got this morning but I'm gonna end off the video here I hope you guys enjoyed I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next vlog bye guys